think the highest honor that an artist can receive is getting their original characters drawn without commissions or anything like that. I don't know if it's just me, but if someone draws my OC without me asking or anything like that, I will seriously get down on one knee and get the prettiest ring I can afford. <laughs> like, I don't have much and I'm really poor, but I can make some good brownies if you just give me a chance. Hello, beautiful gremlins! <laughs> I was originally going to draw three people's OCs in this video, but no! Time had other plans. Gosh darn it. <laughs> but with the time that was given to me, I decided to at least draw two. The characters I'm drawing are from two very epic and cool people that I somehow have had the pleasure of earning their attention from time to time. One is someone who has appeared in some of my videos before, and I've even done a collab with one time. I still have the drawing sheet of my OC as my iPad wallpaper, and I have given her a lot of praise before. You all probably know her. Shasha Cat Studios! <laughs> and the next one is someone I have been introduced to recently and who I love the heck out of her art style and who really is an amazing and happy and genuine person who is the entire reason I got back into my spider Sona. She has even drawn my spider Sona with her and Shasha's spider Sona. I seriously loved it so much. It's actually my friend's screensaver. And Laura Elkelin! <laughs> Sorry if I'm pronouncing her name wrong. I, I apologize profusely. It's obvious. I really do love the heck out of these two, in the most platonic YouTube friend way, and apparently I'm slightly the reason they sympathize with Fitz a bit, which I don't think you guys understand how much that means to me. Like, that was my entire dream when I started making Fitz content was to make people see a different side of him and or change their minds about him. So that makes me so, so happy. Seriously, a dream come true. <laughs> I don't think you guys realize that. Alora, Shasha, if you ever need a boost in like a college recommendation letter or something like that, you can always use that example. You can say that you made someone's dream come true because you really did. <laughs> anyway, we should probably get drawing now. You know, the entire point of this video, but who cares, I ramble. <laughs> you guys remember a minute ago when I said I did a collaboration with Shasha before? Well, in the collab, I drew an OC of hers named Chell or Cheel or I forgot how to pronounce his name, but I'm saying Chell because I can't. I can't, I can't function properly to say anything else at the moment. <laughs> and my weirdo self actually formed a strange emotional connection with him. Apparently, like every one of Shasha's fans, it's a canon event. I mean, fun fact, I'm going to officiate Chell's wedding. So, anyway, by chance, I saw the drawing again, and I thought to myself, this sucks. Like, it was really bad. I feel bad for even drawing it for Shasha. She deserves so much better. Oh my gosh! <laughs> but then I realized there's a chance I could fix this! A redraw! So I'm redrawing this really bad piece of chill I did like eight months ago. <laughs> so with the redraw, I wanted to change a crap ton of things with it because at the beginning I was like, oh, I just want to draw him. Like, I'm not going to redraw it. Then it turned into kind of a redraw piece. So I wanted to show more of his body. <sighs> and more of his outfit for some reason because I kind of drew the wrong outfit because I was following up a, a old ref sheet that Shasha made for him when I was doing the original drawing and also kind of just wanted to make it better at the end of the day the thing is is that looking at the old art piece I'm just like uh, 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 that's like my genuine thought so I just wanted to make it better and I mean I think I accomplished that I mean I don't know maybe maybe I'm wrong <laughs> and one strange thing is that I don't even know why but for some reason his head is turned a different way and the placement in the redraw is actually kind of strange to me because I usually do not draw heads looking to the right I mean all right <laughs> because it's hard for me because I'm right-handed but I'm getting better it's all about practice so <laughs> with Chell's griffin form in the old drawing I had it placed above him in spirit of like it's his spirit and he's like there and all that fun stuff but for some reason I decided to put it below him in the redraw just like hanging beside him like I'm here just just let me in, I'm here. <laughs> I don't know why, but um, I'm fine with it because in the old drawing, I had no idea how to draw a griffin and I still don't, but I tried harder with this one <laughs> because in the old one, I kind of just 
did a thing and called it a day. But with this one, I actually, you know, wanted to do good. So I grabbed a bunch of references from Shasha's videos and tried to make it as good as I possibly could. It's not the best thing ever, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine and that's what matters. Also, I kind of accidentally made the griffin look a little feminine. I apologize. Maybe Chell is just in touch with his feminine side more than most guys. And I'm not a woman! Anyway, the line art was actually so calming to do, and I don't know why. Usually, it's really stressful for me unless I'm doing, like, a chill art piece. And I have to say, this really wasn't that chill of an art piece because I was like, I'm doing this for someone, I'm doing this for someone. So it was nice to have the calming part being the line art. <laughs> And I'm quite happy with how it turned out, honestly. Like, even with the griffin, I decided to change his line art color than Chell's line art color. And I think I made a good decision with that. It made him look more spiritual. <laughs> and with the coloring, I pulled out Chell's old ref sheet again and went through the tedious task of trying to figure out which one was the actual color and all that. Because if you don't know, there's like three colors on Chell's ref sheet all for the same thing. And I'm just like, which one is the real one? <laughs> and I think I did a lot better with the coloring on um, this one as opposed to the old one. And also, I think I did better with the shading. I don't know why, but I, if I do say so myself, I, I did the first shade hey <laughs> and i also did the second shade it was kind of different because with the shading in the old one it was right above him like right above him i have no idea what's shining down on him but it was it was up above him but in this one it's more above and to the back and to the left a bit so i had to finagle my way into doing that and it was actually a lot of fun because i was like oh my gosh it actually looks good and pretty oh my goodness i've not felt that way about an art piece in a while so i am very happy about it <laughs> with the background i went crazy and decided to torture myself for absolutely no reason the background is a painterly style it's actually a post-impressionist painterly style specifically taking inspiration from van gogh or van gogh um there's I've heard it said both ways, but I say Van Gogh. But you wanna know something? He actually signed all his artworks Vincent because it felt more brotherly to him. So, you know, <laughs> fun facts. <laughs> and it was torture to do because painting on a canvas with a hand is very, very different from painting with an Apple Pencil on an iPad screen. And it did not feel good to do, but I did it anyway, because it looked pretty, and that was all that matters. But that was the strange thing, is that it looked so pretty, but I'm gonna blur it. I'm gonna blur it quite a lot, so why the heck did I spend so much time on it if you are hardly going to see it? I'll tell you the reason. The principle of the matter. Anyway, I took inspiration from Van Gogh's Starry Nights, and I also took inspiration from his little clouds. And just so you know, I've actually painted Starry Night before, and <laughs> it was very stressful and fun, and I have no idea how Van Gogh did it, but he did a good job. He actually painted Starry Night in a, a mental institution, somehow in, like, the darkest times of his life, but it was so, it, like, the, it was outside his window of the mental institution. It was so beautiful, so I decided to paint it, and... I just went on an entire rant about Van Gogh. Dang it. Even in my script that I'm looking at, I have bullet points to talk about, and I seriously wrote, talk about background and painterly style and Van Gogh inspiration. I seriously said, in parentheses, to myself, please try not to go on an entire rant about Van Gogh. My gosh, okay. <laughs> so if you have been around this channel, you know that I am a big fan of Shasha. In fact, with any chance I get, I try to sound her out. <laughs> She is an amazing and beautiful person and is so creative and gosh, gosh dang. God has blessed her and I think he has blessed anyone who has ever had the pleasure to interact with her. I go over the top with complimenting her a lot and sometimes I even find myself kind of cringing at it. But I have no idea what else to do to show my appreciation to her. She is so nice and sweet and oh my gosh, just glorious. <laughs> the KOTLC fandom can be quite... <laughs> A place <laughs> and I have really strong and popular opinions and I really don't feel safe sharing them anywhere but Shasha is so chill 
and welcoming. And I honestly feel happy and safe in her community. And I am just really happy there. <laughs> and again, with Shasha being such a... Uh, I don't want to say nice again because I have used it too much. Um, Ultra fine? Isn't that what they use in, like, pad commercials? Shasha being such a delightful person. <laughs> And her videos are always so entertaining and they made me do full belly laughs and fall on the floor. <laughs> Honestly, a magnificent piece of magical stardust to a very much like. Anyway, here's the finished drawing of Jill. I hope you like it, Shasha, and I hope I didn't do anything wrong and you aren't mad at me and won't let me officiate the wedding anymore. <laughs> I already ordered pink lemonade for it. I have wanted to draw one of Elora's OCs for such a long time, but I'm always too nervous to for reasons. <laughs> I drew her spider sona one time with my spider sona because it was a small discussion with Shasha, Laura, and I to draw our spider sonas together. <laughs> and now I'm finally doing it all on my own. <laughs> However, I'm pretty sure she knows about it. <laughs> I told her that I really wanted to draw her character, but I didn't have a reference and immediately she gave me one, <laughs> which I am very thankful and very happy for. So... Alora, just know that you're the one who gave me this power. I asked really excitedly for the lore of one of her favorite OCs and also a reference, and she gave me a shroom OC named Aggie. I think that's her name. I think I'm saying it right this time. <laughs> She's also a shaggy mane mushroom, which looks so cool, by the way. <laughs> She is also apparently antisocial and sits by the creek to read because she's so quirky like that. That's a joke. Honestly, relatable. <laughs> she doesn't have a mouth, which was an interesting thing to draw. Or not to draw. Made me realize I do use mouths to convey emotions a lot in my art. She's also fascinated with humans and knows ASL. Like she's doing better than me. I know very little ASL. And I kind of do want to learn it. <laughs> She also enjoys humming despite not having a mouth, which I do wonder how that's possible. Like, she needs vocal cords, so they have vocal cords. Yeah, they can't talk because there are no mouths. Elora, please explain. <laughs> then she was kind enough to provide a reference for Aggie. So, again, thank you so, 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 so much, Elora. You're amazing. <laughs> and with this scout, I went insane because the first idea I had with this little shroom girl's her by the creek reading but then that didn't turn out the way it turned out and I decided to go with something different however there's still butts there's still Aggie and there's still a creek so <laughs> but I really want to go crazy with the background and foreground for some unknown reason. I just thought, hey, it sounds fun to torture myself today or something, I guess. I sketched it all out and it was so messy. I was like, how am I meant to even function in this chaos? But I got through it somehow and I'm happy I did. My entire idea for this drawing was that she was carrying this big stack of books to bring to the creek to read so she could have this really epic and long reading session while she hums away or something. <laughs> and she's obviously struggling a lot with carrying those books. <laughs> and I tried my hardest with creating this really cool art piece that I think it turned out not as good as I imagined it in my head, but it's fine because I'm still happy with it and I hope Allure is happy with it. That's all that matters to me is that Allure is happy with it. I think it's a good idea. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> with line art, I decided to go for a very dark brown, but it wasn't dark enough and her hair is black and so is most of the mushroom on top of her head. So I ended up having to change a bit of the of the line art color. So there's color variation, I guess, in my line art. Thank you. I'm so cool for that. Not really. It's a joke. <laughs> I'm happy I was able to do that because otherwise it would look weird. So and with coloring, the rough sheet wasn't like fully colored. She just had little dots of where the colors were going to go because it was traditional art. I have to say I was confused first when I was coloring, but I got through it. I got through it and and I really do like the colors on her and I got kind of confused with some colors so if the colors are wrong I apologize profusely for it and with also the books I did color them they also are all named different things if you can read them then good for you because I tried very hard to make you not read them 
it's just random crap that I thought of <laughs> in the moment. So yeah, <laughs> with the background, oh my gosh, my hand was about to fall off. <laughs> it was really hard to do the background. Again, I did that painterly Van Gogh post-impressionist style and it was hard because again, painting on a canvas is different from drawing on an iPad screen. And it was so horrendous. Um, <laughs> but I got through it and I tried my hardest with it and I hope it looks okay. In fact, I was kind of even thinking that I was just gonna just transfer this drawing over to a canvas and just paint it on the canvas and then like <laughs> take a picture and stick it in or something. <laughs> that was how hard this was for me for some reason. But I got through it and I think it was worth it and I hope that it looks appealing to the eye because I have been staring at it for so long that I have no idea if it is. With the shading, I didn't do that much with it but I tried my hardest on it and I tried to do good with it because Allura really compliments me on my lighting and shading and I really wanted to make it good for her because I know she likes it. <laughs> it's not exactly epic over the top shading or lighting it's just kind of me doing my own crap. It's not that much, but I did try my hardest because Alora really loves my <laughs> lighting. And she even calls me a lighting master, which, sit down everyone. If you call me that, stop doing that. I'm not a master. Don't, don't think I am. Please don't assume so anyway, because I have a long way to go with ever being even a novice or something. I'm not very good at lighting. I don't know what you're saying, but I know Allura loves it, so I tried to make it good for her. <laughs> Allura is such an amazing human being, and her art style is so cute. Like, I don't usually eat other people's art, but bring me Allura's in a giant platter and I will eat it in 10 seconds flat. <laughs> I don't really remember when I started interacting with her a lot, but every single interaction I have had with her has been so sweet and has made me leave feeling so happy. She is such a kind and genuine person and really is so cool. And she has a fantastic art style. <laughs> go subscribe to her right now. Pause the video and go subscribe you would not regret it. <laughs> she is also a very good writer. Like, obviously, I haven't read any of her stuff, but I have read, like, two sentences. And let me tell you, the structure of those sentences and the words she uses, like, the metaphors, oh my gosh! <laughs> but really, she is an amazing person. She is so kind and nice and just a shining light on the entire world. In one of my videos, I was feeling really insecure over my art, so I made a comment saying so and just telling everyone that I'm really thankful that they are still around and actually like my art. And Alora replied to this comment with a long essay about how good my art is and it honestly drove me to tears. She really is such a gracious human and anyone would just feel blessed after interacting with her. It is really amazing. <laughs> Here's the finished drawing of Aggie. I hope you like it, Allure, and I didn't do anything wrong and you aren't mad at me or something. <laughs> so, drew two of my favorite YouTubers um, original characters. Um, I hope they like it, and I hope you like it, and I hope I am not rambling too much, and you are actually fine with my terrible voice. <laughs> I'm gonna go drink water and pink lemonade and a hot cup of tea after this or something, because my throat really hurts. <laughs> I'm not used to talking very much, so, like, when I have this entire one-sided conversation with you of, like, it's complete uninterruption. I'm just bum tuckered out afterwards. <laughs> this was such a fun video to make because not only did I get to draw fan art for amazing people, I also got to shout out those amazing people to no degree. <laughs> but seriously, if you haven't already, please go subscribe to both Shasha and Alora. They're such great human beings and deserve all the love in the world. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have the most wonderful day. Go do something that made you happy right now. And if that is watching another video, then the video on your screen is something that YouTube actually thinks you might like and enjoy. So maybe you should check it out. <laughs> Bye.